is up gang we are back we are taking out the kayak again and i am super super pumped um, we don't have too much time out here we got a perfect amount though we got three three and a half hours so i'm gonna go out there and bust some till we got a nice breeze like 10 15 miles per hour so it's gonna be a little bit of adjusting to do once i get out there but hoping for the best and I'm honestly feeling super good so I'm thinking it might pay off to be getting up early I'm hoping at least see you guys out on the water how's it going First, look at that heron right there. I didn't want to spook him off. You know he's got a bunch of fish he's feeding on right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the goat to kind of move down a little bit. Something big making ripples right there, right next to him. But I'm gonna get over here, make a few casts. Guarantee there's some bass hanging out up shallow. And if I were to just walk my kayak up there, they're just gonna all spook away from the shorelines. So this is basically why I'm doing this, just to prevent that. Figure if there's any big bass, hungry bass, they'll probably annihilate this wacky worm. Right on the spot. But maybe not. This whopper popper is like a missile. What's going on? So many fish hitting the surface right now. All right, so they're not going anywhere deep. So I'm just gonna bomb one, or they're not going anywhere shallow, I guess. So I'm gonna bomb one real deep. See if I can get a blow up out there. Kinda doubt it, but never know. So there's like a really nice drop off here, I think. Um, it's probably like 10, 15 feet deep where I'm at. And up on the shoreline, which is maybe 10, 20 yards. It's real shallow. So I like kind of casting into the shallower water. Just working my way a little bit deeper at first. And then maybe next cast I'll start a little bit deeper. And uh, see if they're in that kind of deeper water. I don't know, when you don't have electronics, it's kind of... It's obviously a lot more difficult. 
because I don't know what the hell is below me, to be honest. I don't really know. There could be a bunch of contour lines that I'm kind of sitting in between, and there could be a lot of good things that I'm missing out on just because I don't have a graph. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of different things that, especially on this lake, that they relate to that are just like mostly shoreline related. Um, so I mostly just focus on those, but I think it's kind of fun keeping it simple and just not using any electronics, but that's just me. Someday I want like one of those kayaks that have the freaking electric trolling motor, the graphs, the whole nine. That would be badass. But right now I'm this is everything I could ever ask for. This is so much fun. out the wacky worm just because I wanna I'm not moving much in the wind. So I figure I might as well try and try and push a little bit slower. My right, gosh. Dude, Mr. Heron, you think you're gonna get one of these carp? No chance, bud. Really relaxing, fishing a wacky worm. <laughs> Makes me kind of want to fall back asleep. Oh, there's a bite. Come back. Just felt a thunk. I just cast it like right under that tree. I did feel a bite. I know, little guy. He has a six inch wacky worm on, so I like to think that it's not, it's not gonna catch small fish, even though it definitely does. I think this six inch has a, such a nice wobble to it. The action is just enhanced big time from the five inch. Just thinking whiffed. I think I might have ran into a weed or something. I just felt some pressure, that's what I said. Something
good old wacky spectacular. Hello, duckies. You where them where the big bass are? Right up here? Really? Sounds good to me. Said wacky worms a ticket, eh? Alright, bud. Take your word for it. What do you think, Mr. Heron? We're having some trouble out here, aren't we? I haven't seen you catch a fish either. It looks like he's about to now. Ooh, same here. That was kind of a... Take it, how about it, eh? First fish of the day came off, come off the, can't talk, came off the, uh, the wacky worm. Kind of surprised? Not really. Take it. Alright, thank you, my friend. Still got that skunk? Come on, boy. He's pissed, I let it go. He's like, really, man? I could have maybe choked that thing down. Oh, you go. Blue heron right here. I mean, I've been working this whole entire shoreline, and I was just giving him some crap because neither of us have caught anything. And sure enough, whack! <laughs> Low key, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, fishing a wacky worm is pretty boring. It's definitely not my favorite technique. There's so many. Oops way better bass techniques in my opinion or way more fun I should say not way better so wacky worm this technique is super effective I'm not gonna lie and you get yourself a good wacky hook I mean you can really fish this in a lot of different areas and it's just like I said it's just something that the fish just can't resist they love these wacky worms. Yeah, I got this six inch black blue laminate, I think color it is. It's like a, there's no flex in it. It's just like a black and blue color. I think it works pretty dang well for some darker, darker stained water. But I got another color too yesterday actually at Cabela's. It's an orange and black. I'm kind of excited to try that. I had a customer tell me. I mean every customer you meet is gonna have a special color that just ooh, there we go. Oh that was like a two, three pounder right there. Jeez. Sorry sir, I don't mean to be bumping in here. That was a nice fish. He literally jumped right under the pontoon and spit the freaking hook. Chill. I'll get you. I promise. 
Bad little guy. Take it. Thanks. This is two for three. Not bad, not bad. My gosh, that water is so warm. It's literally like bath water. You like that, guys? Ooh. That's a good fish. Oh my god. Oh my god, that thing just stinking went so airborne. That's a good fish. It's nothing like crazy by any means. But wow, that fight was freaking incredible. Thank you so much, my friend. Whew. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Take it. Third one of the morning. My gosh. Just for just for video's sake, we'll get a scale on her. Might as well. Wow, I think she might be she might be a two-pounder. So much bite, my friend. Gosh. Beauty, 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 beauty. Now, stand up real quick. Two pounds, six ounces. Not bad. My friend, my friend, my friend, I'll get you in the water. I'll get you in the water, I promise. Man, just listen to me. I promise. Thank you so much, buddy. That was freaking cool, man. I hope I got you guys a good view of that jump. You ready already? See ya, buddy. Man, that's fun. That just cannot be beat. Can't be beat. That's just so much fun. Like, <sighs> this is my first wacky worm bite of the year. Got on it. Well, I'm sorry. Yesterday was my first wacky worm bite of the year, and it was, it was fun. I'm not gonna lie. It was fun. It's just fish after fish. Kind of similar like this, not, I mean, it's, it's not fish after fish, I shouldn't say, but it's definitely, it's just good fishing, you know, like it's a, when it's, when it's time to throw a wacky worm, it's time, that's really all there is to it, it's time, it's time, and now, it's the time, baby. So far, this shoreline is treating us pretty dang decent. Just started like drifting right off the uh right off the boat landing. Seems to work, I guess. Well that was fun. Maybe we'll get a bigger one. so stealthy on this thing. <laughs> I just feel like there's no way any fish know that I'm here. It's so like every time this wacky worm just falls in the water, I'm like, it's gonna be a five pounder that's just gonna just inhale it. But, I don't know. I feel like they get a lot more pressure than I think they do. So I don't think a five pounder will probably inhale a wacky worm. But, could be wrong. Probably at least a couple in here that would. It's 
So what I'm finding is that they're really not, like, up against the shore, I'm thinking. They're more or less, like, underneath cover, which would be, like, the docks or pontoons or whatever. Or they're kind of out in a little bit of deeper water. Like, I noticed every time I drift into the shallower water, I'm just seeing mostly bluegill. Maybe the smaller bass are hanging out a little shallower where the bluegill are. But for the most part, the, the more, you know, decent sized the bass, deeper they are. And I'm seeing some jump out here too. I'm almost kind of debating if I should maybe toss that whopper plopper a little bit. Which honestly, we got three fish so far. We almost have four. If I wouldn't have goofed up a couple of them, we definitely should have four. Um, but I'm thinking, depending on how I feel after the fourth fish, I might go for a big fifth fish. Um, we got about another hour and a half, 45 minutes, so I might toss around a big bluegill or something. See if we can't find like a five pounder. Um, or I might just keep tossing this wacky worm and just kind of give some tips if I can, if I think of them. And then, you know, obviously just hopefully keep, keep catching them. But that's kind of the game plan right now. And, uh... Really enjoying this morning. Happy I got up. It's worth it. Here we go, little guy. Hello, little fella. Thank you so much for biting, my friend. Whoa, it's the first fish on this little bladed jig with that minnow diesel. It's a little Z-Man concoction. It's a nice little bait. I thought it looked delicious myself. If I were a fish, but it's the first time I've caught one on it. And I've had it on for a couple days now. I haven't made a ton of casts with it, but definitely enough to, uh, I would think, catch a couple with it. But happy, uh, finally shook that skunk. What is up, fam? Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I 
really hope you guys did like it and uh, just stay tuned. I plan on doing a lot more filming like this, a lot more cool videos. Um, I plan on doing this for my whole life, honestly. So even though the quality might not be there now, um, hopefully in the future it will be. And uh, for now, I just hope to catch big bass and learn as much as I can so that when I am continuously filming in 10 years, it's going to be really, 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 really good stuff. So hope you guys enjoy. Mm-hmm.